Hola a todos, hello everyone, how are you? Hope everyone is well. Today I'm going to be teaching you the preterite tense. You can see now that I'm going to do it all on paper rather than PowerPoint because this way I think I will be able to explain it better and you can hear me going through some examples. So the preterite tense then. What is the preterite tense? Well, the preterite tense, you can see here, I've written, it is the main past tense. It refers to a completed action in the past. So you've got things like, I ate, you drank, he arrived, we left. Those are all examples of the main past tense, and therefore they are the preterite tense. So how do we form the preterite tense in Spanish? Well, it's the same way that we do with all the tenses, pretty much. We have three stages. We identify the infinitive. We remove the AR, ER, IR at the end of the infinitive. We add our new ending, right? There are your three key words, identify, remove and add. Now, remember, an infinitive in Spanish always ends in AR, ER or IR. Right? AR, ER, IR. And the infinitive in English has the word to. To eat, to go, to drink, to sleep, etc. So your endings that I referred to in stage three are all down the bottom. All right, you can see that I've given you endings for AR and one set of endings for ER and IR. So actually, you've only got to learn two sets of endings. All right, so let's move that just to one side. Now here are some examples. And I followed the same pattern, stage one, stage two, stage three, that I did here, stage one, stage two, stage three. So, example number one, she left. So I've looked in the dictionary, I found that to leave is salir. I've identified the infinitive, stage one. You can see it ends in IR, therefore it is an IR verb. Stage two, I have removed the IR, I'm left with shall. Stage three, I've added my new ending. So let's just go back over here and have a look. So, she, here we are, All right? It was an IR verb, so I know I'm gonna be in this column. There's the ending, io, I-O with an accent, salio. Example number two, they arrived. Identify the infinitive, llegar, AR verb. Remove the AR at the end. Stage three then, let's add the new ending, aron. You can see what I've done. They... It is AR, and there's my ending for that one. I spoke, example number three. Stage one, hablar. Again, AR verb. Stage two, I have removed the AR. Stage three, I've added the new ending. Let's go back and have a look. I, it's AR. There is my ending, e, e with an accent. Example number four, we ate. Comer, ER verb. Remove the ER, I'm left with com. Stage three, to add my new ending, let's go back and have a look. Right, so we, it was in the ER, IR section, comimos. So remember when you're looking in the dictionary, right? You must look for the infinitive that ends in AR, ER, IR. If it does not end in AR, ER, IR, it is not an infinitive. Do not look up things like left. You don't say to left, you would say to leave, to arrive, to speak, to eat, all right? Those are examples of infinitives. 
Now, of course, Spanish wouldn't be Spanish if it didn't have the irregular verbs. Remember, irregular verbs are the verbs that don't follow the pattern. In other words, you don't necessarily identify the infinitive for stage one. You don't necessarily take off the AR, ER, IR for stage two. And you don't necessarily um, add a new ending for stage three. Those are ones you're just going to have to learn. And I will post a list of those at some point as well for you. Okay, so just to recap. The preterite tense. It is the main past tense. It refers to a completed action in the past. You must know your stages. Identify, remove and add. And you are going to have to learn your endings as well. Okay. You cannot get a C grade at GCSE unless you know your past tense, in other words, your preterite tense inside out. Hope this has helped. Um, I will post some work on Google Classroom for you. Buena suerte, good luck, muchas gracias, keep well, adios, hope to see you soon.